so guys we have transferred the rows from dc to adc now this 10.0.0.2 is dc and 10.0.0.1 is our adc so to transfer the rows this adc must be alive then only we can transfer the row let us say this domain controller goes down straight away we didn't have the chance to transfer the rows what will happen we can't make this adc to dc okay so if this adc goes down this client will be won't be able to log on to their computers because we don't have any domain controller now so how to fix this issue so in this scenario so guys transfer of role is applicable when dc and adc are working if dc goes down we can't transfer the fismo roles so how to troubleshoot this problem we have a solution the solution is seize of roles okay let us try to understand what is this seize of roles so we will see transfer of role is having this problem if this dc goes down we can't transfer the roles so we need to seize the roles now so we can seize the roles we can use the seize the roles option we can convert the adc to dc now so we will convert this adc to dc current in, in our current scenario this is our adc and this is our dc okay let us say this dc goes down so we can convert this adc to dc okay how will you convert it by seizing the rows so we can seize the rows and we can convert the adc to dc it will take up to 120 seconds so when you seize any role maximum it will take 120 seconds to seize one role so approximately minimum it will take 90 seconds maximum it will take 120 seconds why it is taking 90 to 120 seconds let us say we want to seize naming master so before seizing this naming master role this adc what it will do it will check whether this dc is available or not okay so it will wait for 90 minutes if it doesn't receive any response from dc it will seize this naming master role if it receives any response from the dc this seizure will be failed okay because we have dc why we are seizing it okay so if if it doesn't receive any response then it will seize the role so that is why it will take some time so it will take 90 seconds if it receives any response from dc the conversion will be failed and it is very helpful in your working environment in it is very helpful in your interview as well this concept seize of role and transfer of roles so guys we'll do the pre seize verification we'll see which server is our domain controller which server is our additional domain controller so we'll go to in our current scenario if you go to 10.0.0.1 you will see backup and uh, if you go to 10.0.0.2 you will see the primary and you will see all the roles in adc we have already verified 10.0.0.2 is having all the fismo roles okay seize of role is applicable when dc is down so this seizure is applicable only if this domain controller down if it is up you can't seize the role the seizure will be fair and only adc is working not to perform this lap shut down the dc so what we will do we shut down the dc we will shut down this dc okay in our lap this is our dc now so we'll shut down it so seize the fismo roles on adc 
that is 10.0.0.1 null and convert it to DC. So again, the same steps we need to follow. We need to connect the server with ADC. Okay, so on the same server, we'll connect it, okay? And see the rows one by one. So let us see how to connect the server first. You will log on to ADC. This is our ADC and you will log on to it. You will go to command prompt, then you will run the NTDS util. Then you will go to roles, then connections. Under the connections, you will type this command. Connect to server, server 01. Okay, you are on the same server, then you will type the same server name, server 01, it is connected. Then you will seize the rows one by one. So how to seize the rows? To seize the rows, we need to enter into FISMO mode again. So how will you enter into the FISMO mode? You will type quit. Then you will be in FISMO maintenance mode. Then you will seize the rows one by one. Seize naming master, seize schema master, seize infrastructure master, seize RID master, seize PDC. So we must seize the rows one by one. Rows can be seized in any, any sequence, but it will not seize the rows right away. It will take 90 seconds. It will check whether the DC is available or not. If it is not available, then only it will seize the row. So you will go to the command prompt and you will type seize naming master, then you will click yes. Seize schema master, you will get this window, click yes. Then seize infrastructure master, click yes. Seize RID master, click yes. So seize PDC, click yes. Then we'll do the post verification. We'll verify whether the server one is converted to DC or not. Okay, all right guys, so let us verify it. So this is our current DC server two and we'll shut it down. Now we have only ADC. And from this ADC, we can't create the DC, we can't create the other ADCs. So we need to seize the role to make this server one DC. So it is down now. And let us verify the things first. We'll go to command prompt. Then net accounts. We need to give space here. And if you see, this is the backup server and we don't have the primary server, it is down. And uh, let us verify the fees more rules. Okay, the fees more rules are with server two and server two is down. Now what we will do, we'll seize the rules. Seizing the roles means converting this ADC to DC. So how will you seize the role? Again, we need to connect to the server. So how will you connect to the server? You will enter this command NTDS util. So we are in NTDS util mode, then we'll type this roles command. We are in FISMO maintenance mode. Under this FISMO maintenance mode, we will type connections. Then under this server connection modes, we will connect to this server one. Connect to server, server zero one, not zero two, zero two is down. So we will connect with server one only. What happened?
it is hanging okay so binding to server one connected to server one it is connected now we need to seize the roles we will seize the roles in maintenance mode so how will you go back to maintenance mode you will type quit it will take you to pismo maintenance mode then we'll seize naming master seize naming master are you sure yes so attempting save transfer of domain naming pismo before seizure so it is trying to contact the domain controller so it will take 90 seconds So naming master is seized. Let us seize the schema master. Yes. Okay, so schema master is also seized. Let us seize infrastructure master. Yes. Infrastructure master.
uh, sir when we are transferring this we can see some error over there what is that sir? which one when we are transferring when we are giving this command now we can see some message here like ldap extended error message yeah it is getting the error it is not able to contact the domain controller this is the error okay 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 then what was the last rule rid master we need to transfer rid master correct yeah it is infrastructure master so we need to transfer rid master If you see here, it is saying that the current Pismo holder could not be contacted. This is the error. It is trying to contact the current domain controller and it is unable to contact because it is shut down. So it is giving this error. Now transfer the PDC. Sorry, seize the PG, PDC. All right, guys. So all the <coughs> rules are ceased. Let us verify it has become domain controller or not. Now you can see it has become primary server which means it has become the domain controller previously it was a backup server previously it was an additional domain controller and let us verify the roles net dom query feasible so this server is having all the roles now so it has become again the domain controller
and guys let us say this server comes up so it will become additional domain controller it will not become domain controller again clear guys any doubt in today's class guys please confirm yeah clear sir clear sir done sir okay guys so please practice this labs they are very important labs okay as a system administrator you should know these things and see you tomorrow take care thanks thank welcome. you welcome